Hi guys, it's Alex. Welcome back or welcome if you're new. So today I thought I would show you guys my favorite, like my top favorite colorful palettes. Colorful, I say that um, kind of in air quotes because some of them really aren't that colorful. Like for me, for the for me these are colorful, but maybe to some they're not. Um, I don't have like a rainbow palette in here or anything like that. So this is kind of like my version of like my kind of colorful palettes. So before we get started, please like and subscribe. I would really, really, really appreciate it. So let's just get started. So these are not in any particular order because I do love all of these palettes. So I'm just going to start with the top one right here. I do have a lot of ColourPop. Just to say, those are like my most colorful palettes are my ColourPop ones. So my first one is the Meant to Be. And it's just green. I love green eyeshadow. Um, so this was kind of obvious for me to put in. I love these tones. For me, this is colorful because it's not something I wear all the time. Kind of, for me, it's a very specific time of the year I like to wear this, but I love it so, so much. The colors blend really well. They're pigmented, easy to use, and you can, all the looks you make with it do end up kind of looking the same because it is a monochromatic palette, but the greens in here are so beautiful, and I love using this as one of my colorful palettes. Since we just talked about a green eyeshadow palette, I'll show the other green eyeshadow palette. And this one is a lot more muted. It's not as bright as they meant to be. It's the Star Wars The Child palette from the Mandalorian collection. These ones are a lot more wearable for me. I do wear these ones a lot more often, and I love them so much. I just more of like my comfort zone, I guess you could say, because I don't wear brighter colors like the pastels all the time. But these are shades I do tend to go for. So if you don't want something too intense, but you do want like a colorful green palette, I would recommend this one. And the colors look gorgeous on everyone. Everyone. Highly recommend. So besides wearing green eyeshadow, I've actually been really into doing kind of like purple, like light purple colors. Not like intense deep purple, just because that I just don't think that looks good on me. But I do love purple shades. And then this one, this is the ColourPop in a Trance palette. I love this palette because it has some purples, it has some pinks, and the blues, and I like that I can use pretty much all these shades because they're not too dark, like, out of my comfort zone personally. And I took the glitter out. There was a glitter, and I think it was, like, a white glitter. I don't remember. I just don't like glitter, so I just take them out, and I have sensitive eyes and all that. Um, but even, like, these bright pinks, which I thought would look awful on me with my, like, fair complexion and my blue eyes, I thought it was going to be a bad combo. But they're kind of more purpley. They're like purpley pink. Maybe that's why. But this is beautiful. And then like this blue right here is really intense. It's hard to tell, but I do have a tiny dip in it, actually. That's how much I use this palette. That's how much I love, especially this shade. This one is Future Self. I think I'd remember that now. But I would recommend this palette if you're looking for something pastel without it being too light. There was just a car that just slowed down. Okay. Um, I would recommend this palette if you want like pastels that aren't too like light, if that makes sense. Like a kind of like a darker pastel. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but if you look, want something kind of like purple, pink, blues, but you don't really know where to start, this is a great option, especially for the price. It is really nice. And then speaking of purple, I of course have the Lilac You a lot. I use all but like two shades in here, so the two darker shades. I just don't personally like those on me, but the rest of these are so wearable for me. This is so beautiful, kind of like the Meant to Be, and just kind of all the ColourPop palettes that I do have. They're so easy to blend. They're so easy to just work with. Even purples, and purples can be pretty challenging. This is wonderful. Like if you want a purple palette, just a monochromatic purple palette, ColourPop has a really good one, and the price. Especially when they do have sales, you can get them even cheaper. I think I got this one for like $9 or something. Since we're just on a ColourPop train, since most of these are ColourPop, I'll just show my last two ColourPops. So now, this one did just come out recently, so I know it might not be the best idea to put it in, but I had to. It's the ColourPop Lush Life Palette. And these shades are just right up my alley in terms of me wanting a colorful look. Even this bright green, I don't mind. But I can use all these shades. Sorry for the reflections. The only downside trying to show. But like these reddish colors, I am I love so much. This blue, 
Um, I don't use this one too, too often just because I do have blue eyes and sometimes I feel like that's just a little too much. But like, I'm really obsessed with these reds and these greens right here. I do love green eyeshadow like I mentioned. This is beautiful. This is like their best palette they have come out with in such a long time. Especially like I would say top palette this year. That might be a little extreme since we are only in July, but I love this palette. And the packaging, 10 out of 10. This is some of the greatest packaging I have seen from ColourPop ever. My last ColourPop palette is the Lizzie McGuire What Dreams Are Made Of. And for me, this is very colorful, just kind of like all my other palettes. This one's just, um, I don't know. I don't know if it's because of the background on the packaging or anything, but I do like greens and all that. I don't know. These all kind of have like a theme with the purples, the pink greens kind of thing, but I just love them. Those are kind of like the colorful palettes, colorful colors that I do tend to go towards. And I'm obsessed, especially the shade. What's it called again? so mature oh so mature yeah i love this shade it has a slight uh like sparkle in it it's so pretty i love this palette you can even use it for every day if you just want to use like this in the crease or anything it's pretty versatile in my opinion and who doesn't love lissy mcguire so i feel like most people have this palette if they do kind of follow color pop so this one's great you can do so many different looks with it so next up this one is kind of neutral like half and half neutral and then colorful maybe 60 40. <laughs> um this one is discontinued it is the tropic palette from natasha denona um i know some people didn't really care for this but i enjoy this palette a lot i enjoy this lavender shade i love it but i also like that there's some pinky tones in here so i can do like a pop of color if i just want to do a pop of color in the inner corners so if i just want to do just one a colorful like wash over the lid and just have a neutral shade with it i love this palette i got and i also got it when i was like half off when they were like discontinuing it so i didn't pay the crazy like 129 dollars or something i paid half but this is beautiful even this blue shade right here i actually really enjoy using and this one too this is not a blue that i usually like but i surprisingly really enjoyed it. i just touched it i surprisingly really enjoy it this shade right here what's it called again mint frost beautiful this is probably my favorite shade in the entire palette love 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 i i felt kind of bad putting this one in just because it has been discontinued and it's been discontinued for quite some time now i don't know if this will be in my shop my stash when i upload this or not but it is at some point <laughs> in my videos um next up i have two sigma palettes now, for Sigma, for me, are colorful. Like, I, like I've like i mentioned so many times, for me, are colorful. For some, it's not. So the first one is the, let me take this brush out, Enchanted palette. And this is like a more muted colorful palette to me because it does have the greens, the purples, the golden colors, the darker greens, the pinky colors, and in a couple neutrals. Um, I love this palette. This is my favorite Sigma palette. Actually, I'm kind of torn between this one and the next one, but I love them so much. This one gives me so much inspiration. I'm obsessed. I just love the colors. The pigment is great. The quality is amazing. Some people don't really care for Sigma formula. I really, really enjoy it. And this duochrome right here too, beautiful. I know this kind of duochrome, this like brown blue is pretty popular. But this is the only one I have in my collection that I can... No, I think I have a one from another palette. I don't remember, but I love it. This is just whole palette. I love every shade. Even this yellow gold, which I really don't care for yellow golds. This has a little bit more of a green tint to it, actually, in person. So maybe that's why I kind of like it a little bit more. But I just love every shade in here. Beautiful. Perfect for, like, intro to color. This is a little bit pricier. You would have to splurge a little bit. But, like, a nice intro to color if you don't want just, like, bright pops of color right away. Beautiful in this packaging. I love it. The last Sigma palette I have is more like for me like grungy kind of colors or some grungy colors and that is the Sigma Untamed. Taking the brush out again. So this one has the darker colors which I'm also just kind of my comfort zone when I do want to wear color but also has some light colors like the purple and this green. This green is everything. I love this green. I mentioned it in 
my eyeshadow palette collection how much I love this color like I said I really don't know when that video is going up either I really need to figure out what days I'm gonna put what video up anyways that's something I need to figure out but these shades are just so beautiful you can use this every day just using this shade this shade might look a little intimidating but I promise you it does look beautiful once it's blended out and everything it's like a yellowy mustard like dark mustard kind of color I'm not really sure like what the exact color is called but it is a lot more wearable than it looks pretty much all these colors honestly because if like you don't want to wear camouflage like in the crease or in the outer lid or whatever you can still just use it as an eyeliner you can use so much with colorful makeup in this blue as well gorgeous 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 I just love this palette highly recommend if you want Kind of like how Enchanted you want to like dip your toes into color but you don't want like pops of color so the Enchant is more of like the light kind of. I hate this window so much. <laughs> the light kind of colors dip your toes in or if you want to dip into like really dark kind of grungier tones. Highly recommend. So beautiful. I have one more palette and I love this palette. I love it so much. This is probably my favorite colorful palette. It's the Persona Identity 2. It's kind of similar to the Sigma Untamed with the darker kind of colors. They're actually pretty similar, even with some colors, like the, that reddish kind of color. We also have some neutrals in here. So this one's perfect if you want like an everyday, an everyday with color, because it has a good amount of neutrals and everything as well. This one, whoa. I actually think this is a little less expensive than the Sigma, if I'm remembering correctly. But I would say this one's probably the easiest for me to work with out of all, out of like my, compared to like my Sigma, if we're comparing like the Untamed one to this one. The ColourPop are pretty easy to use, but I would say these just, something about them just blend a little bit better than ColourPop. So yeah, I would say this is probably my favorite colorful palette out of all my colorful palettes, but this is just amazing. Even like the Yellow Gold again, which I usually just despise, is beautiful. But of course my favorite is like that green and then like that red. Love, love, love Persona Cosmetics. It's already like one of my favorite brands and then these palettes are just amazing. The Identity one, which is more neutral, is also great. But highly recommend, I highly recommend all of my colorful kind of palettes, especially the ColourPop for the price. So that is all of my favorite colorful palettes in my collection. I hope you enjoyed. I hope these maybe are some of your favorite colorful palettes too. So thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.